I thought I'd take a quick video. Um, it's Friday and um, just come up to lunchtime. Mr. Bellring has been in to see me for the last time here at uh, Parkside. Getting ready to go home now. Everything's pretty much packed. I've just got one more dilation to do here before we go. So just trying to time that right so that we get enough time between now and getting home. I'm feeling really sad <laughs> to be leaving. Um, there's a lot of things all going on at once. It's true we spend the week here in a bubble and it is it's kind of like a holiday and while everything's going on whilst there's treatment going and you've got stages to look forward to and you can almost treat each stage as or it distracts you it distracts you from what's actually going on now at this point it's you know, realities setting in now it's back to the real world and I think it's while you've got those distractions you don't have time for that emotion to say it's really silly here because you're like like I say you are pampered you really are pampered here um and you it's enjoyable it's now I don't want to go I, I don't want to go back home I I like it here my bed's comfy I like the view out my window this is this is my safe space this is I suppose in some ways this is like this is where I was born I've started to live again in this room for seven days this room has been my world and I'm scared to leave it which is stupid I know it's really stupid Mum and Dad are coming up in the car and as lovely as the nurses have been, I'm I'm desperate for a cuddle. I need a cuddle something rotten. I feel guilty for feeling sad. Because I should in my head and I know that everybody will be thinking I should be really happy this should be a glorious step and it is but why do I feel sad why I've got far more sleep here than I thought I would I wasn't expecting sleep at all I've been getting on most nights probably about six hours or so um, with an up down to the toilet in between But it's not the same as being in your home. I'm going back to mum and dad's tonight. Just for, I don't know how long for. Maybe a week, maybe more, I don't know. Theory being that poor Kelly won't have to look after me and the children and the dogs and everybody. So I'll be able to just get a bit more rest. But I want to go home. I really want to go home. And settle in to everything. Find, find my groove. It's really silly. I I don't I don't know why I feel so sad as I do. 
I suppose I should compare it to holidays I have been on in the past. I kept like this going back. It's the knowledge of not not being there, not being there again, you know, providing there are no complications, which there's no sign of at the moment. I'm, I'm finding it a bit hard to pee. Um, it kind of comes out in a dribble rather than a stream or anything, which is weird. Um, but uh, touch wood at the moment, there doesn't seem to be any complications, so I can't see any reason why I should be back. But the knowledge that I, w I won't see this room again. You know, this room looked after me. This room cared for me. These lovely nurses and everybody here cared for me so well. I learned to trust them in a way that you never learned to trust a professional before. Because they've been there and done it. You might be sat there thinking to yourself, yeah, I'm different. I'm different. I know my own body. But they've been here. They've done it. They've seen a hundred views. They've seen thousands of people with every complication, with every setup. And they will know what you're going through. So you learn to trust these people, people you've never met before. And in an instant, I'm not going to miss them. I really am going to miss them. I think there's a... I think there's an anticlimax, in a way, as well. That for so long, for so long, you've been dreaming about this stay and and this day and being here and everything it means and you know it's kind of been even though you say it's not even though you make do and continue your life as best you can whilst you're waiting it's always been out there it's something that's been in your future coming up something to look forward to and now it's here, it's gone. And so it's not going to happen again. So, yeah, I suppose that's a, a bit of what I'm feeling now as well. Of course, once I get home, yeah, and settle back into that life that. The life that I had when I was just waiting and getting on with my life. Yeah, you know, that's it again. You know, you'll be getting on with your life. But this time there isn't any more waiting. There's nothing to wait for. It's. That's odd. That's odd. There's nothing to wait for anymore. Something to think about. Anyway. I miss my children so much. I miss Kelly so much. I miss the dogs so much. I can't wait to get home and give them all a cuddle. I'm seeing them tomorrow, I might be seeing the dogs, I don't know. I will see about that. But children and Kelly should be coming over to Mum and Dad's tomorrow. And I'm so looking forward to a cuddle with her. I've missed her so much. We've spoken a lot on Skype and Messenger, and that's helped. It's not been the same though. I know this has been really hard for her. The last thing she needs this week, she had friend problems as well. But again, the sort of things which I think if I was home, I would have helped her with. And not being there to help her, not 
being there, to be able to give some emotional support or comfort. I think that knocked me for six as well. But time to burst the bubble. Time to live life and see what the world will bring. Is I guess the best way. Anyway, I'll give you one last look around the room. I've been wandering around, I know, so probably making you all dizzy as hell. Looking forward to a proper hair wash and styling my hair as well. I brought all the cheap stuff with me, but there's nothing like your own routine, is there? But anyway, like I say, I'll give you one last look around the room so that's something for me to remember oh okay apparently you can't switch it while you're made recording but anyway here we go this was where jamie was born So many things that you could get used to in this place. So many things you're only just finding out, figuring out how to use the blinds, for instance. This, you know, simple concept, but I only figured it out properly a couple of days ago. Um, the slidey notifications on the door when you come in, invaluable when you're dilating, by the way, which I might do now. So you can say, no visitors, please. Mm very definitely required when you're dilating so you don't get some lovely porter coming in with a cup of tea seeing you with your uh, lovely bits on display well I guess it's time to get everything ready do my final dilation here and then wait for mum and dad to come thank you for taking this journey with me everyone all your comments and posts have meant so much to me. It's, I'll say it's been an emotional roller coaster, but I think it's only just starting to really get emotional now for me. So I might do another video blog when we get home or when we get to Fairbed or something, but for now. I'll see you all later.